thousands of migrants, as you know, have been streaming into the small town of Eagle Pass, Texas. The number of migrants crossing the U.S.-Mexico border without legal permission is nearing record levels. This has been the issue that everybody's talking about. It's how many immigrants can a society absorb before the society kind of buckles and starts to break down. The president has done more to secure the border and to deal with this issue of immigration than anybody else. Oh, there you go. You, you, got, you got people coming in now. Take a look at this. If the federal government allows to uh, keep going on what's happening right now, um, it's a very good possibility, uh, in my opinion, in 10 years, we'll be a third world country. Now, I've been in law enforcement for 34 years, and no doubt the last three years has been the worst um, in terms of our border being collapsed. It, it, I've never seen it this bad. The amount of human smuggling is just unbelievable. My name is Donnie Kindred. I'm a pilot uh, with Texas Department of Public Safety. Uh, we fly the border operations and station in Del Rio, Texas. 95% of our work is uh, assisting the federal government in the Border Patrol in capturing illegal suspects coming into the country. So we're here in Eagle Pass, Texas, and behind me, you can see barbed wire, the Rio Grande, and of course, huge Mexican flag, because just on the other side of this water is Mexico. In the last month, just three weeks into September, this Eagle Pass port of entry to the U.S. from Mexico has seen 23,000, almost 24,000 illegals come across the border here. There's been about 1,300 gotaways. Okay, and only 48 turnbacks. Of all the top places in the nation that are seeing migrants come across all along the southern border, this is the hot spot. So behind me is an overpass connecting the U.S. and Mexico in Eagle Pass. And this is a primary holding area where you'll see there is about 100 plus uh, legal aliens just waiting to be processed. We don't have the infrastructure to take thousands of people every day coming into just Texas alone. Um, it's a strain on our ranchers, uh, the citizens in the in the in the cities, the county. Uh, they're they're fed up with it. You know they're going to be uh, they're going to be having children in our schools with with your children. And uh, what kind of medical history do they have? Do they have any kind of diseases that we don't know of? But they're getting put in schools. You know, our children have to have shot records and everything else. So we have no clue what their medical background is. Why did you have to leave Honduras? Well, I have several reasons for fleeing the country. Firstly, I work in the state. I work with the police in Honduras. She said, yeah, she was, she's from Honduras and she worked for the police. Someone threatened to kill her or something, something about her bosses and whatnot. Then uh, she showed me, she's got like paperwork of a different kid. I don't know who this kid is, but it wasn't the kid in the paperwork. These are the pathways through the tall grass right next to the river. And so people have sort of created these game trails through the tall grass. People uh, are ditching clothes everywhere they can. They have to walk through this mud, traipse through all this. It's hot, it's, it's muddy, it's swampy.
Uh, so he's from Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Got a 27-year-old military-age male. Oh, I don't know if he's military or not, but these two we found down there, 14-year-olds coming from Chiapas, and just found these two, mother and daughter, apparently. I think the the older woman and this young child in pink were together, but we found these other two. They say they're 14. Uh, we found them down there, and this guy just came out of the bushes over here. So I don't know if I don't know if these three are together, but. Migrant, in my opinion, is somebody that's coming over here and doing it the right way, doing it the legal way. The people that are coming across right now breaking our laws knowingly to get in the country, those are illegal invaders is what they are. You can't stop chasing people. If you stop chasing people and people know that you're not gonna chase, it happens in a lot of major cities. Crime never stops. If there's no punishment for their actions, then why should they stop? We'll, we'll never stop giving chase when chase is needed because you don't know who's in that vehicle. It could be a murderer. It could be a sexual predator. You have no idea. They're knowingly breaking our laws coming here. So if you're gonna break our laws knowingly, what kind of respect are you gonna have for any other law we have here? Yeah, I, I don't think the, uh, the major players in the federal government wanna come down to Eagle Pass, Texas or Del Rio, Texas because they don't have the answers that people are gonna ask them. I don't know why they don't have the answers. Uh, it's gotten 10 times worse than it was three years ago. Seems like it was working three, year, you know, three years ago. So I don't know what the issue is.